shows the pandemic has pushed more people to buy used cars. In June alone, used car sales were up 22%, largely because people don't want to use mass transit or be in close proximity to others. So tonight we are drilling down on one thing to be suspicious of when you buy a used car. We're talking about odometer fraud. Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty has been looking into this and Bill, how would an unsuspecting consumer know? Yes, yeah, Sarah, this is one of the issues when you buy a used car that is really tough to navigate unless you really know what you're looking for. But it's a problem that is rising because so many more people are buying used cars. That's why Carfax showed us this demonstration today to help kind of illustrate this problem and to warn people. If you buy a used car, you want the mileage and the condition to reflect the price. In a demonstration with Carfax, we watch them quickly and easily roll back a digital odometer on this 2007 Chevy Silverado. It has 265,000 miles. It's valued at right around $14,000. It was rolled back within a few seconds to 85,000 miles. That changes the value to $23,000. Emily Voss is with Carfax. So you might end up paying eight or $9,000 more for that vehicle because somebody was able to tamper with it in a matter of seconds. And there will be secondary costs too, unexpected repairs because it's older than you think. So what's a non-car person to do? How would anybody know? One of the better things to look at is something that's going to have a lot of wear, like a brake pedal. Obviously, it gets used. People aren't going to go change it. It's not something like tires or, uh, you know, it's not a maintenance item per se. So uh, it's something good to look at to be able to kind of determine a little bit of wear. Of course, take it for an inspection with someone that you trust before you buy it. That step will save you money and headaches and pay for itself if fraud is actually uncovered. And anybody that has a problem with you getting that car inspected, that should be a red flag. Huge red flag. I mean, if they said, no, no, you know, that's, uh, we, we don't allow that. It can only be off the lot for 15 minutes. Say, thank you very much. I'm going to the next, uh, next uh, car dealer on the block. So, Bill, are there legitimate reasons to roll it back? Well, Sarah, the expert that I was talking with this afternoon tells me, no, there isn't really a great legitimate reason to, to ever touch the odometer unless the odometer itself was malfunctioning. Take, for example, if you were to put uh, a new engine in a car and the new engine had 50,000 miles on it um, and the rest of the car had 100,000 miles on it, you wouldn't roll back the odometer to reflect 50,000 miles because... The rest of the car still has 100,000 miles. It then becomes a disclosable item, and that's the most important thing. Mm. If you hear anybody talking about the odometer this or the odometer that, when you're buying a used car, that's a red flag that you should be asking a lot more questions. Or right. run the other way. Yeah, really good information, Bill. We appreciate it. Thank you.